So this guy doesn't want to share his notepad. My notepad. You got your own notepad, man. Well, we both technically have our own custom notepads from the desk of Jeff and from the desk of Trevor. But we choose to use generic <laughs> ones because those other ones are special. Apparently they're special. So anyway, uh, here we are. It's just us two. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats to <Eve. laughs> Who's ever watching and listening? It's another week of Lancaster Connects. There we go. Confetti. Yay. But no, as, as, as Ben was uh, having a little, uh, he's like, no, I don't want to share my notepad. I'm thinking, who's my, my drone? I'm thinking, yeah, there's my, uh, there's my business spouse dealing with his notepad issues. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I often joke, it's, it's, it's funny about being in business with a business partner and having a spouse where you're married uh, to a different person. And, um, you know, it's actually, e- not that I'm saying I want to divorce my wife or anything. Not at all. <laughs> but if it is actually, Ben's like, what the hell is he talking about? Where are you going? Where are we going? But you just figure we're starting out with some tomfoolery as usual. It's actually a lot easier to be divorced than it is to get rid of your business. <laughs> <laughs> you looked into this? No, I haven't looked into it. I'm just, it, your whole want to keep the notepad to yourself just reminded me of all of this. Like all of these, all of these idiosyncrasies that all come around to being part of the day in the life of owning a business and being here at Gardner's, like, I mean, it's, it's serious. Like it's, it's some of this little trivia. Now, you know, I will happily share my paper. I do. Thank you. I'll happily share mine. With you. Uh, <laughs> but not your food. I don't share food. Don't Jeff. food. No, get your own. <laughs> that roast beef sandwich today did look good. It was good. Thank you to my wife for that. It was amazing. My wife made me a roast beef sandwich. She gave me condiments separate and then put the veggies you a little bag and the vegetables in a little bag and like laid it all out. So you just like, it was, it was incredible. It was a very tasty lunch. I was very happy. It smelled and looked good. Why I don't want to get divorced. I don't know. We're actually <laughs> celebrating our 20th anniversary. We're, Good we're, Betty. we're booking a trip. Planning it. Is if we could figure out where the heck we want to go. That's, you know, that's, that's always a tough thing. I just proposed to go to the campsite for the week and she, <laughs> that got <laughs> shot down. <laughs> She's like, well, you can go. <laughs> Wouldn't be, wouldn't be much of an anniversary. Trip, right, right. No. Um, no. Are you thinking, uh, you know, like this continent? Other yeah, continent? Yeah. Look, man, I don't want to. I just, I am. Airplane? I don't want to do an airplane if I don't have to. Okay. So, so driving. We're thinking driving. Mm-hmm. We'd like to be able to incorporate the slingshot. So. I will say it. Yeah, don't don't say it. Don't call it what it's not. He calls my slingshot something else. See, back to the divorce topic. <laughs> but no, to close that loop, so so seriously, like in the day of the life of owning a business and, and owning a retail mattress store, there's a lot of things that go on. Just sent a message to our team this morning about how we are not like your basic chicken noodle soup here where you can where you can see the broth, the noodles, and the chicken. Like we are a complex, tasty gumbo. And it's real important that we execute on all the details 100% every day because if you miss one thing, it's not as good of a gumbo anymore. No, it's like, a, yeah, it's like the, what, the soup Nazi, right? Yeah. Soup Nazi had oh, we're talking all about their Seinfeld now. Yeah. Yeah. They had all their recipes and yeah. Elaine found all the recipes that our recipe chopped the gumbo. What was it? Chopped portachini chopped mushrooms. Portachini mushrooms. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know, so yeah, you miss a little chopped mushroom in the gumbo. Right. It's not as good. Nope. And we always talk about a five-star experience. I mean, we've got it here in spades to back it up, right? But none of those books matter. They may as well become fire tinder, campfire, if we don't give you as our new customer that same five-star experience. So, yeah, I'm just kind of lamenting it a little bit, a little, little blown off steam, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even all that upset. I'm just throwing <laughs> words out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, it's the other life of a local business owner uh, when you when you keep your eye on that prize of always <clears throat> delivering a five star experience. It's kind of like a psychopathic, manic, depressive, crazy existence. It is <laughs> because it matters. It is, but you know what? Can I can I transition into the testimonial? Because sure, the, 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 it, it, look, gloves are off on this show. The, it's our show. We can do what we want. The gumbo. We don't have a uh, we don't have a guest waiting, so. The gumbo, Again, congrats to our listeners. You're just getting what we're right. getting. 
Sorry, you want us to the Gardner's Gumbo, which I think we should trademark that the Gardner's Gar- Gumbo. Gardner's Gumbo um, leads to happy customers. Jeff shared the the books here of happy customers, binders full of happy customers that we can share. <laughs> I knew you were gonna go there. <laughs> the, was that the Mitt Romney thing? Binders <laughs> full of yeah, um, <laughs> binders full of customers. Um, so we got it. We got a testimonial over the weekend uh, on Facebook. You can leave reviews on Facebook among other places. Um, but uh, first mattress this person has bought in many years. He loved his water bed before. Not many water beds out there in the wild anymore. Every once in a while, you'll see a water bed, but this is slowly this die off. Gentleman is, is replacing his water bed. Um, had an opportunity to get a great feeling mattress. Um, and uh, we made a good sale with him. I uh, got all the linens and, and, we even threw in a mattress cover, so he got a good deal. Uh, thanks to Drew over at Gardner's for helping me out to make this decision to purchase um, this mattress over at Gardner's in Lancaster. We said happy Fourth of July, but the second part of this, you you replied to his comment, said thanks, thanks for the business, that sort of thing, and then he said uh, what I thought was really interesting. He said thanks, uh, thanks for the good information you shared with me. I walked into places to buy different things, and people acted like I owe them something. Keep up the good work, Drew. So, have you ever been to a place where you walked in if you felt like they were thinking you were wasting their time, or mm-hmm. you were you were imposing on their time as salespeople, like you were interrupting what they were doing? I'm, and, I'm and, about I'm about to not pull any punches here. Go for it. Any Ford dealership? Mm. If you got a Ford F one fifty with a ten speed transmission in it right now. So you walk in there. Ask me how I really feel. (laughs) How do you know this, Jeffrey? And I'm a long time (laughs) Ford fan, Ford customer. Uh, Nothing nothing worse than that. So like, I mean, good for us that other stores treat consumers this way. Uh, We really would. I mean, I would want that. Right. But but it does make it easy to differentiate. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, it's common courtesy to say hello to somebody. Be nice to them. Yeah, it is. And and of course, help solve their sleep need, which is what everybody walking through these doors has. They're looking to uh, sleep better and ultimately wake up happy. So, um, you know, and, and, and a lot of this is just treating people the way that they want to be treated or that you'd want to be treated yourself. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, thanks to this customer. Thanks for their kind words. But, you know, uh, we gave him the experience that he expected and that we we put out there. Yep. So, well, and I mean, in leading our team here, which kind of falls under my umbrella of things and Ben's umbrella of things is operations. <laughs> and, you know, one of the things I just shared out today to our team is let, let's remember that, you know, uh, we got a lot of headwinds right now in our country economically, uh, it would seem. But the reality is if, if somebody does pull into our store, um, they are serious about investing in better sleep. The flip side of that is, they have taken the time to come into our store and we need to return that level of respect and opportunity in kind. And we've always done that. And uh, so, yeah, you're right, Ben. We, it's good to treat people the way you want to be treated and you will get that experience here hundred percent for sure. Uh, it's what we're all about. So that, that, that's just frustrating to me. Like that somebody would feel that they are uh-huh. not. Yeah. That's like table like, stakes for us. Yeah. You're like, being nice. You walk into a business, you're like, I'm ready to spend money. And then you get that experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, yeah. Yep. Common courtesy. Yep. It really is. But we continue to work, work at it, work hard and uh, reinvent. And, you know, it's, uh, we're in the midst of the July 4th promo. All right. And, uh, you know, listen, we are an everyday low price kind of store. It, we price our products fairly for what we need to give you the exceptional five-star experience you deserve, as was relayed in Ben's comment, or not comment, testimonial. Um, but we don't play the games where we market way sky, get my hand on screen, way sky high, right? Like way up here. We don't do that um, to then play these games. I mean, let's, it, it's busy enough as a business owner. Uh, like, I, yeah, like I don't, who has time to play these place games? I I can't imagine constructing a business where your whole operations are based on where on the price elevator you are today. 
And then as a small business owner who is who are out in their community, like you, you'll see us out in the community doing things with our families. Like I can't imagine being that kind of a business that decides, well, this week it's 70% off our inflated price. And then next week it's 80% off. And then the following week it's 60% off. And having those, you know, it'd be a rare instance, but it could happen. Having those three customers that bought the same thing see us out on like first Friday or at Long's Park mm -hmm. and then having a conversation. Like who who wants to have gotten the best price? Who wants to have gotten the worst price? That's not a conversation right. we want for our customers. Right. Who's the best negotiator as a cons right. consumer? Why not just know you're shopping in a store that is going to treat everybody fair? Like, you know, if, if we were forced to open a books, everybody would be pretty darn close. Like not only in the ballpark, but like inside the base pads, maybe all crowding first base together. <laughs> Uh, and, and the only thing that changes that is because of our double deals promotions. Yeah. And that's, that's our answer to what's on sale, you know, uh, because people do like to scratch that itch of the promotion, yep. right? Yep. Everybody likes to get a deal. Yep. We get that. So double deals we created to say, okay, here's what's on sale. You pick a discount or, or a combo of discounts that work for your need. Maybe you have a platform bed, so you don't need a free box, right? No problem. Maybe you have a pickup truck like I do, and you have young sons at home that are strong like I do, and they can lift your mattress. So free delivery doesn't mean anything to you, right? So you get to pick the discounts that maximize your savings, and it's and we're fine with whatever fits for you. And that's what I mean. Like we'll, we'll be real close if if we had ten people buy the same setup. No, none of those ten people should feel they got the worst deal or the best deal. Nope. Everybody got the deal we offer to everybody and uh i mean that's that's how we operate around here no no reference prices <laughs> we've actually got a testimonial it's on the wall you can't see i'm going to do a terrible job of pointing let's see it's like that way that way on the wall there like on, on the other side of that rack <laughs> but it's it's literally and we can say it now because they're out of business shocker mm -hmm. uh, yeah right. it was it was somebody that worked for wolf furniture and they were our customer because even getting the so-called inside price there, our pricing was better. And that's not my words. You can look on our wall at some of our better handwritten or like the, the best stories our customers gave us in the handwritten testimonials, which might even be in this book. One of these Very books, well, one of these two, <laughs> volume one and two, happy buying experience, talking about how the big, the big bed furniture store. Wolf, yeah, that works out. Big Bad Wolf Furniture Store. The Big Bad Furniture Store. Uh, <laughs> did that. Our pricing was better than the insider pricing for the employee. Like, that's that was pretty shocking. Yeah. And of course, you know, the challenging thing from our standpoint is the marketing wouldn't have you believe that. Right, right. Because we're not, we're not saying big percentage of. Right. And they are. Right. But the difference is that inflated price some made up pie in the sky mm -hmm. price that we're just not going to do. We're not going to play those games. Yep. Yep. And so on that note, speaking of discounts, discounts, we so our tent sale is legitimate discounts. Mm -hmm. So we've got a tent sale going on. Um, so our producer, Chris, if we could have maybe one of our tent sale images up, there we go. There's the tent. Um, so we, we have any number of reasons why, <clears throat> any one of the mattresses is in the tent right now or things are pink tagged um like the pink panther pink tagged tags i love the pink panther as a kid that cartoon but um but um loved it loved it loved it loved it there's you go there's the pink tag to look for and this this picture is for effect only we don't necessarily suggest <laughs> you do this uh See, i think that mattress would have stayed in there on 222 no no, that would be a bad idea. Yeah. That would be unsafe. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we offer delivery. There you go. But it was for a fact. Uh, at any rate, um, so every one of those mattresses in the tent, I mean, here's what I got thinking about the other day is there's a story behind every one of them. Be it a comfort exchange, uh, which is part of our wake up happy promise, mm -hmm. be it a floor model. Uh, we've got some stuff here that, you know, our partners uh, in the last handful of months shipped an error. And, you know, a lot of our contemporaries would say, well, ship that back. You shouldn't have to keep that. That's their mistake. Well, 
we want to be good partners with everybody. And part of being a good partner is you're a partner in good times and the bad times. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's frustrating to have excess inventory, but at the same time, they help us, we help you, everybody wins. So every one of these things that you're looking at in our tent really tells a story of our commitment to that five-star experience. Uh, because every one of them made, it is, is something there where it made somebody happy. <clears throat> whether that's one of our vendor partners, uh, whether that's one of our customers, uh, whether that's doing the right thing and saying, hey, you know, look here, we've got this little itty bitty scratch or this little itty bitty tear. It's not 100% perfect. We're sorry. What would you like to do about that? Oftentimes people will happily take a discount. We extend other times. They want what they want and they want it to be 100% without defects. So that's, that's their right. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. And uh, so everything here kind of has some kind of unique story behind it. But the story for you, a midsummer's night tent sale, like a dream, is you get to save a lot of money. Anywhere from 25 to 50% off. Not some inflated price that's brought down where we're still making, you know, work like the house in this case ain't winning. <laughs> well, you know, the, 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 like the house always wins in Vegas. Not this case. We, we are not winning here. We're, we're turning the white and beige and brown rectangles as mattresses into smaller, thinner rectangles like dollars. That's all we're doing here. Um, in some cases, we're losing money. In some cases, we might make a little, little bit. But really, I think if we would... Well, and that little bit just pays for the tent. It pays for the tent. <laughs> you know, we had my kid driving around uh, yep. this weekend. It pays for the advertising. The banners out front. You know, this is just recoup, you know. And I've been talking a long time. I'll shut up here in a minute. <laughs> if you let me go long enough, even with somebody right here, I'll go. But all this is, is just recouping on that five-star experience that we've invested in, in a prior customer. That's all it is uh, when it really comes down to it. Well, and you, you know, you talk about price um, and the, the legitimacy of these discounts. Everything in the tent, with maybe one exception, everything in the tent is regular running merchandise for us. So we may have a king size out there uh, in the tent. Uh, in fact, right there, kind of front and center is one of our two-sided flippable beds in king size. Um, that is on our display floor. It's an, on our display floor in a different size. But you can flip up the tag and see that that mattress is, I can't see it on the tag there. Um, but I think that mattress around like eighteen ninety nine for a uh, king size new mattress and we'll happily order one brand new for you and and get it here within a couple weeks but that particular mattress there uh is a clearance closeout and it is legitimately half price the yeah, other is what nine forty nine forty nine. 49 so that is a a, a 1900 dollar bed that is discounted down because it's rebagged this one was likely an exchange in fact that's what the tag says so uh somebody got that mattress uh felt it was not the right fit for their sleep needs. And per our comfort exchange, 120 nights, uh, we made them happy um, and exchanged it out for something that they like better. I'm sure they're sleeping very, very well. But that means, obviously, we have a mattress that we need to get rid of. We have a license to uh, resell mm -hmm. uh, merchandise in, in this scenario. Uh, and uh, we blow it out for half price. So um, didn't work for somebody, but that's that particular mattress actually is one of the most popular mattresses in the showroom. Somebody's going to get an amazing deal on a two-sided flippable bed for under $1,000. Yep. Um, you know, just to highlight some of the some of the deals we've got in the tent, we've got a lot of kings, a lot of king size mattresses. Um, you know, so, I mean, we sell a lot of king mattresses. A lot of people have bigger bedrooms and, you know, can, can uh, put a king size bed in there. But right now we have a slew of king size mattresses. So if you have a king size bed and need to replace the mattress you have now, Got a ton of options. We've got latex uh, foam rubber from our most popular brand, Pasha Lavish. Um, you know, uh, some of those came from a home show we did uh, where, you know, we uh, we have some leftover from the the display models. So we've got some of those to sell. And, and you know, some of those were exchanges, but uh, foam rubber latex beds um, last for a very, very long time, up to 20 years in most cases, and sometimes even longer. Um, and sometimes those kings run well over Three and four thousand dollars, but um, you can get mm -hmm. one of those king size mattresses for half of that. We do have some king sided, king size, king sided, king sided, two sizes. No, 
king size two sided flippable beds. Um, Jeff mentioned uh, sometimes manufacturers make an error, or maybe we even make an error in our ordering. It happens. Um, but in this case, a manufacturer shipped us three mattresses uh, <laughs> that, you know, they showed up and we're like, what are these? And, and we kind of went back and, and yep. Trevor, no, they shipped them in error. Um, they are two sided flippable beds. Um, they're kind of prototypes of something we don't exactly have on the floor, but it's, it's mostly related to the You'll two enjoy them. beds. Um, in fact, one of them has soft padding on one side and firm padding on the other. Yep. Um, we have another one that's soft and another one that's firm, but, um, those are brand new, not and, even out of the package. And those beds exist because people come to us for solutions. The yep. market, you know, we look at the market and say, what's an opportunity for a new mattress product? Or people come to us and say, hey, here's a struggle. So what Ben's talking about with those ones, they're called the duo hybrids. I designed those beds for the Airbnb, Verbo, homeowner market that has people coming into their house. I want to give them a really great mattress, something that will be durable comfortable and the ones that are two-sided comfort, you know, firm and soft, this way they could ask you as your guest, as, as their guest potentially, they can say, uh, do you like a firm or a soft mattress experience? And they can put that in their booking link and then their maintenance crew can flip that mattress for you. And mm -hmm. you get an incredible experience when you go to an Airbnb because, uh, or a short-term rental property that you might rent and uh, through any number of apps, I guess, today. But the idea being, you you don't have to sleep on an uncomfortable bed anymore. There's an option. The owner of the property gets to wow and delight you. Mm -hmm. And you're sleeping in a really comfortable bed, which, by the way, if you really love, we can then, can you know, you can get connected to us through that host uh, if you're so inclined. And we can, you can order one of those mattresses and we can ship it right to your front door, which is pretty cool for little old gardeners in little old Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We're a big deal, though. We, we got some stuff going <laughs> on. Yeah, we're, we're more than just two guys selling beds. But, you know, so th things like that exist. They got shipped in error, and we yep. got out with our partners at Gold Bond, and they're like, yep, just keep them and sell them in your tent sale. So, you know, we, we always work to find solutions because I often say around here, you can't be a five-star company hitched to three-star partners. And, and Gold Bond is as good as they come. They are a great, great family-owned company. I've known them my entire career in this industry. Um, I have known that family. And I've seen their character in action uh, up front and close. I've seen up front and close, like some good stuff, some ugly <laughs> stuff. And I've seen them always decide to do the right thing, even when they didn't think anybody was looking. But I was watching and I saw good stuff happen. So that's why we're proud to be their partner and continue on. You know, it just popped into my head. I can't think of another factory that we've ever been involved with that has not undergone any changes. Like Gold Bond, they really haven't, besides like Skip maybe taking more of a role from his father, Bob, yeah, fourth and fifth generation, like they've been the same company delivering the same service for the 20 plus years that we've known them. I can't think of another factory that can say that. Well, not only that, uh, which is very cool, Right, because typically when the third or fourth generation gets around, let alone fifth, they want to sell it. Right, <clears throat> like if you here, here's here's how you know Chick Fil A got sold to some big private equity company when they open up on Sunday. Right, right. That'll be the first clue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be the first clue that the family sold out because immediately the big money company is going to say, you know, why are we closed one day a week? Right. Those ideals don't matter to us. We're going to open seven days a week. And then immediately the, the, the pool of talent will diminish because you don't have a consistent day off and a consistent schedule. And uh, that'll be the reality. But to Gold Bond, not only are they a great family-owned company that hasn't sold out, and Eric Lee, uh, who's made us look good on camera for our less nor more cuddle efforts and done a fantastic job producing that commercial for us and helping us with that. He's also a great gardener's customer. So thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your coaching talents. And I'm going to smile for you, Eric. You. <laughs> Eric always wants me to smile. You got that smile cooking. That Eric okay, Lee smile. That. Um, but uh, we doing the, the rest of the episode serious, serious face. Well, it's just how I am. <laughs> like, I just got to go. Like, 
We just we just have to roll. It's just it's just how I it's just how I go. But the other thing with Gold Bond, in all seriousness, not only family company, four or five generations in now, but they don't torment their customers by saying, "Oh, that mattress was discontinued last year. Here's the new ones this year." We've got beds that we've been selling. Now the fabrics change, but that's the fabric, right? Not the makeup, not the way it feels, just the, the, the shell. It's like black shirt to white shirt to blue shirt. Still the same Callaway golf shirt that feels great. Um, but they make, they, they just, if they've got a good thing going, they continue to make it and make it and make it. And we've had customers come back and, you know, essentially fill their house yep. with the mattress that they got because they got a guest bedroom, but first realized they loved it. And then got a master later or, or whatever. They just flipped it around and, and they're three, four deep. Uh, Sarah is commenting, Sarah, our tent sale is going to go through today. Uh, we're recording this on Monday, the 27th mm-hmm. and, uh, has been started on Friday, the 24th, but it's going to go now through Monday, July 4th. All right. Or uh, until, it, until sold out. Yeah. It should be pointed out that the deals in the tent, that's the extent of the merchandise that we have. We have some. Uh, beds in the store that are special tags, some adjustable bed bases, some natural foam rubber latex toppers, some closeout pillows. So there are some deals and and uh, products to sell and close out here in the showroom. But that is the extent of what we have. So obviously the best selection is right now. And the uh, selection we, is finite. Yes, that's right. That's right. It's not like we can pull out uh, more two-sided flippable beds. I think there's one left. Uh, we had two in the tent uh, on Saturday morning and I think there's one left. So um, these beds will go quick. Uh, also in the tent, we've got a few king size, uh, certified organic beds, uh, beds made with natural materials. Thanks for tuning in, Sarah. Yep. Appreciate you. Yep. 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 Um, uh, and then right there in that picture, you'll see some, those beds are brand new, uh, rolled up beds. So we, <laughs> we put a trailer, we talked about the trailer before the show. Uh, we, uh, parked a trailer, uh, next to our warehouse with, so cut a hole in the warehouse door and put a trailer in there. Well, we were told that it was uh, leak proof. <laughs> water, water tight. Water tight. Word you're looking for. It was not quite as watertight as we had expected. So uh, we had some boxes that got wet. Good news is it was simply the box that got wet. You see the, the mattresses are sealed. They're compressed and rolled, sealed in an uh, a airtight bag and, of course, waterproof bag. So we tossed the uh, boxes, the wet boxes, uh, had some cleanup to do, but those mattresses are brand new in the package and 25 to 35% off um, simply because of the fact that the box is wet and we just want to get rid of the merchandise that um, is, you know, a little less easy to deal with because it's not in a box, right? I don't even know that I'd say that because yeah. the boxing is a pain in the butt. That's true. That's you true. can't strap it into the front seat of your slingshot. <laughs> but, this um, is true. but and you don't have yeah. to dispose of the box when you yeah, get it home. Exactly. Boxes are, we already did the hard work for it. That's right. It's already, that's right. it's already disposed of. There's there's there it is in the slingshot. But yeah, that I mean that's a queen size mattress there. So the compress and roll technology is pretty interesting. It's gonna be something you see more and more and more of as time goes along in the industry. Maybe not everything, you know, you're gonna see less and less be able to ship to your front door. Because UPS and FedEx are going to are going to uh, continue to put constraints on dimensions and weights, but that compressor roll technology is a fantastic solution logistically for all points up to and into your home. It's just a function of who delivers it. Well, and it so. should be said that you know I think a lot of people will look at that mattress and that that particular mattress that's in the slingshot is an, a less expensive mattress. You know, it's uh, you know probably a four ninety nine queen. Um, good for a guest bedroom, good for kids, college students, that sort of thing. Uh, but some of our very best mattresses, the mattresses right here next to us, the Posh and Lavish mattresses, yep. can be compressed and rolled to make shipping and well, handling. Oh, are, are, yeah, are. They, they are <laughs> compressed and rolled. So it, it's it's some of the le- least expensive and the very best mattresses we have can be compressed and rolled. So it's not it's not just cheap mattresses. Yeah, the box is not an indicator box. of quality. Yep. Not the type. Not uh, at all. Sarah, thanks for being our customer. Happy you're enjoying your bed. Appreciate you commenting. You're getting in for the prizes. Um, 
and uh, multiple times, multiple times. Time. Yeah. Sarah, look at that. And, and Sarah, maybe with with or without knowing it, is stacking the deck on the prize later. So prizes, <laughs> we do gift cards to local restaurants or our great uh, less store more cuddle drinkware. So my my love that. Sure. Hydro flask. Yeah. Hydro flask and a tumbler. Uh, Jessica, I mean, we have our double deals sale uh, pretty much all throughout the year. We have our vendor events through the key holidays like President's Day, Memorial Day, 4th of July, uh, you know, Thanksgiving, Black Friday weekend. Uh, our tent sales, yeah, we pretty much do those once a year. Um, so that's your, that's like your biggest, 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 best savings opportunity, just pound for pound savings for sure. But we do have clearance and closeout merchandise throughout the year. Throughout the year. It's just now we've got a bunch and yep. it's an opportunity. To yeah. All boys. Yeah. So you'll want to, you'll want to visit if now's the time or you're in range of thinking of something new. Here's a little preview video of the tent sale. I don't know if we can bring audio in or not, but, uh, um, I've also got closeout box springs. So box springs that are yeah. scratch and din, you know, box springs are unfortunately Somebody needs to find a way to make those easy to handle and deliver with them. Yeah. They're they're rigid <laughs> on the edge and sometimes the the packaging might not be be great or yeah. you know, we slide it across the floor, it gets damaged in shipping to us, or you know, maybe it gets, you know, damaged on on delivery. But you know, box springs, um, you know, they're perfectly structurally perfect, fine to you know put a mattress on. Um, they're just maybe not uh, cosmetically perfect. So a scuff yeah. in the corner, uh, tear in a fabric, whatnot. But, you know, all of those are half price as well. We've got, you know, just about every size covered with a closeout box spring. We've got a bunch of them to get rid of. Yeah. Yeah. And we have all other sizes in stock too, if we don't have a closeout one for you. So listen, I mean, <clears throat> I, I said to Ben before, sorry, I don't think we'll go a whole half hour, 45 minutes about a tent sound, but we did. We had a good conversation. Well, we, can we, had, talk. we had some people engaged and commenting. So that's good. Uh, I mean, listen, we are truly here to help. Um, this show, we figure, was a good little change of pace from our regular rotation of people that we want to shine light on, which is why Lancaster Connects exists, to highlight the charities and the small businesses doing good, uh, supporting uh, Lancaster County, because we believe that supporting the community that supports us is paramount. And that's why this show exists with those great charities on here. Uh, we donate to them. They get to spend time telling you about all the great they do. We give them a great video that they can use later for their marketing purposes. And forthcoming, we have a, an assistant coming on board uh, to slice and dice and slap mm -hmm. chop it up. My gosh, slap chop? The, the, seg the profound <laughs> moments and microdoses of Lancaster Connects. So you like get to like do a little taste test and then take it all in if you yeah. want. You're so you got a, a potpourri of, of food description. Today. That's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm all over it. <laughs> but cornucopia would be cornucopia. Word. Yeah. <laughs> so I share all that because we want to continue to do more with Lancaster Connects and, and raise the profile. So you'll be seeing people come on. You'll, you'll be seeing more of those videos uh, come out. All right. And um, I don't know. I think that's about all we can say about the pet sale. Yeah. It's going on now. Rain or shine. We're doing it. It's here. Uh, bad weather and gardeners' tent sales kind of go hand in hand. Although this week, this week's been good. good. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be all right. Yeah. But we set the tent up and it was raining. So that's just that's how true. it goes. That's true. But, but anyway, um, your sleep better book, your sleep better tip is get the book. All right. I'm a little unprepared for the sleep better tip. But the tip is just to take time to like think about your sleep. So get the book, gardenersmattressandmore.com forward slash sleep dash better. We will mail you a copy for free on us because we believe in what we do. And uh, we believe that helping our community wake up happy, be refreshed, more productive is important for a better community that we live in. So we'll mail you the book. Prize later time, I think. Unless we want to do the connection cocktail. Oh, are we going to do that? I don't know. We could. We could. Well, I don't know what questions we're going to ask. You know, uh, related to our questions, we often ask about Turkey Hill, Wawa Sheets, and, mm -hmm. and Rudders. I saw, oh, maybe we're just doing we the, a little drowsy, what's your vibe along? I like it. 
I don't know that everybody's ready for that. <laughs> for for all of that. It, it, you don't want me to dance. All right. I will I will try. So I'll give you my answer on the t- Turkey Hill Shoots Rudders Wawa debate. <clears throat> so for me, if you're getting food, it's Wawa. Unless unless you want egg rolls and then it's rudders. Egg rolls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But of course, if you have egg roll lady on your block, then it's mm-hmm. egg roll. Okay. Uh, if you want coffee, it's sheets. Okay. Because now they're doing like the fresh ground. Yes, I actually I used that just yes. kind of cool. Yes, yes, yes. And then like Turkey Hill, if you want ice cream, or only if you want to get the, the, the half gallon deals. Two for five or something six like or that. whatever. Yeah. yeah. So that's my answer on that question. You know, I think mine is similar. I, I used to frequent Turkey Hill for the half gallon of ice, or not ice cream, um, the icy tea. tea. The tea. Mm-hmm. The, tea. Uh, the green tea was always a favorite. The raspberry tea, lemon tea. I think they're bad for you. And I haven't had one in a long time, but that was like a college. How long is this music going to go? It's the whole, it's part of the, it's the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can't, you can't talk and jam at the same time? I, I can. There, there you go. Um, I just saw that Wawa is expected to put like 30 new Wawas in the central Pennsylvania area. Mm-hmm. They're going right after the Sheets, Rudders, and Turkey Hills of the world. Yeah. yeah, I mean... It, 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 I feel like we're in the middle of the convenience store wars right here. Yeah. Like, like we, there is... We've, we've got a lot. <clears throat> yeah. Awesome. So, a lot. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. Have you ever done a horse and buggy? No. Really? No, never, never done a horse and buggy. I didn't grow up in Lancaster County. Not only have I ridden horse and buggies, but in a former life, in a former career, I had customers who were horse and buggy Amish. Mm-hmm. And I clarify it that way, because if you're not familiar with the Amish in and around Lancaster, you have those that have horse and buggies, those that have all blacked out cars. Then you have those that have Mennonites that have cars, but aren't all. There's all different kinds of degrees to it. Right. And I don't understand all of it. I just know there's different degrees. But yeah, I had customers of horse and buggy Amish. And uh, uh, I you rode in their buggy? I would, yeah. Well, I had to take a sample to their house or drop like a bundle of shingles off because something got left behind. And that's, I go out and see them. And yeah, and then we take Manny. Manny would take me out around in that's his awesome. horse buggy. Yeah. So, that's awesome. I, I think. For me to do it, I would want to do it in like a controlled road environment, like no you're, other traffic. You're apprehensive. About I'm a nervous, nervous Nelly. I'd be a nervous Nelly in there. You surprised me one time a few years back about <laughs> being on a boat. Even though, even though when we were in Sweden visiting Carpe Diem Bender, we were on a boat in the middle of the night. Speedboat. Speedboat. Driven by Cobra. That was legit his name. Legit his name. Yep. And we had a rock. Going across the lakes or the, the fjord, the going across the fjord, we, the fjord. we had a not get a rock. That. that was a whole thing, all because We're we here. missed our our ferry back. Yep, dinner went long. It was a whole thing. Oh my gosh! So I, really, it sounds like a made up story, but I tell you, it's not. You, you know, I think uh, you know the Facebook memories that pop mm-hmm. up. I think that was a ten year message, like a ten year memory, just earlier this month. Yeah, it was ten years ago. Yep. So that's that. What a trip. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite restaurant? Ooh. Um, you know, this may, might not be my absolute, absolute favorite, but El Serrano has been around. There you go. El Serrano. What? It's not my favorite. Well, no, 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 no. I, I, I like it. <laughs> but I, the reason I bring up El Serrano is like a lot of restaurants come and go, right? You know, they're, they're no, here, consistent. They, you know, there was maybe a favorite restaurant 20 years ago that's not here anymore. And of course, there's some that are really, really great. Like I like Bistro, Barbara, Barbara Bistro, whatever, downtown, fantastic food. Um, and I hope they, they last a long, long time. But El Serrano, uh, my wife and I have been going there for a long, long time. It was a favorite restaurant of ours 20 years ago. And now in 2022, they're still around making fantastic food. So, um, you know, give them a shout out. I, I, and, and you know, the thing that's great, our kids like them too. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, I'm going to say it because uh, it's special to my wife and I. We're celebrating our 20 years this year, but Zia Maria's in Denver. 
mm. which also used to have Pieros in Akron, <clears throat> which when she worked at the bank thing that was bank beneficial bank, whatever it was called, bank thing, decided <laughs> way back in the day. Uh, I met her because the place I worked did finance contracts through there. And uh, so that place is special to us because that's kind of where, mm. where our romance started. Oh, oh, wow. I'm feeling in that romantic mood because it's, and look, 20 years married nowadays is, mm -hmm. you're, yeah, that's not you're doing something right. not normal. I don't know that I'm doing something <laughs> right. I think it's my wife tolerates me. And makes you fantastic lunches. Yes, that happened today. Yes. Yep. yep. So you're doing something right. Yep. So, so yeah. You know, I don't think so, I've ever been to Zia Maria. I'll have to check that out. It's good. It's very good. Yep. We enjoy it. So that was a good little cocktail, man. <laughs> All right. Let's do prize later and get on. We had a couple more. Con oh, John tuned in. And John a super fan. John stopped by last month. She might stop. Yep. She got her prize. Yep. <clears throat> All right, Chris, I think it's time. Let's spit it. This is the prize. We got, this is a good contest. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. it. I don't know last week. Come on again, Johnny. You can come in because you're a big fan and supporter and you earn it. Bring it again, Chris. Let's see if we can't bring other folks in. This, this, like, just, this teaches people if you should gamble or not. Because, <laughs> right. like, Sarah has 17 comments in. Yeah, All right, we've got a new one. Uh, anyway, Jessica, you are a winner. And um, be sure to come in. Anytime we're open, you can collect your gift card or your less snore more cuddle swag. But, uh, hey, thanks for tuning in. This was yeah, fun. Kind of just hang out, talk to our customers. And, uh, you know, we certainly got a lot of little video snippets for down the road. When we get that assistant on board in a few weeks, we'll snip it out and share it with you. And uh, slice and dice. Slice and dice. Slap, slap chop it up. Slap yeah. chop it. That's, that's the time right. of day. Well, come on out for the 10th day. It's still going on through Monday, July 4th. Shop early for the best selection and the biggest savings. The selection goes away as the time goes on. I promise you that. And uh, you'll want to get here uh, sooner than later. Congrats, Jessica. Stop at any time we're open. You get to pick that swag or a gift card. Your choice. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And we'll see you in the tent. Have a great week. Bye.